a woman comes to me and asks me, asks the midwife, how many babies have you delivered? It was a trick question. If um, I were to actually count all the births I had attended and give it to her, proportional to that amount would she begin to place her trust in me in one sense, not assume the responsibility herself for birth. And so when asked that question, I would answer very truthfully, six births. How many babies have I delivered? Six. Their names are Loie, Oshana, Cheyenne, Gannon, Quinn, and Haley. Those are my own children. I'm a midwife. You give birth. I gave birth to Logan five years ago in the hospital. Everything pretty much snowballed. I did have a vaginal birth, but there was a lot of interference. The epidural didn't work, and I just ended up losing confidence in the ability of a, of a doctor to follow my lead and be able to support me in birth the way I need to be. I feel like I generally have support. My mom was very open with me about the things that go on in her bodies, becoming a woman, menstruation, all that. I definitely grew up feeling that that was very normal. It wasn't much of a jump for me to realize that being pregnant doesn't mean that I'm sick. It's just a natural part of being a woman. The first unassisted birth I had heard of, I was on an internet mail list, and a woman on the list, Athena Burke, she was planning an unassisted birth, and she had posted her birth story. And it just sounded so incredible outside with the view of the mountains and it just sounded to me like the ideal way to give birth. It seemed like quite a story, quite a story to tell my friends about this girl who had moved from Boston to the wilds of Petersburg and had had her baby in a tent in the backyard. And people couldn't believe it. If it had been the other way around, they could have believed it better, that a Petersburg girl could have gone to Boston and maybe had the baby in the backyard, but to a Boston girl to come to Petersburg and have a baby in the backyard was astounding. <laughs> it just felt so normal just to have a baby and be at home and uh, it's it's really hard to describe because in a way it was so wonderful it it can't be described but then again it was just an everyday thing and it was perfect in that that it just felt like it's a perfectly normal, natural thing to do.